it's Tammy from Tammy Colors 2, and it's time for my October haul. I know it's early. I don't usually get them out this early, um, but I am trying to use what I have, and that is my goal. I did add some colored pencils to my collection, um, and I'm planning on starting my colored pencil collection. I'm working on figuring out what I want to do and starting that series and doing my uh, coloring book collection and getting all my books sorted out. And so that's what I'm going to be doing for the duration. Um, but with anyway, so I thought I would show you what I got. Um, some of them are from the Big Deal sale on the... Uh, Amazon so um, I picked up the 36 set of the Faber-Castell Black Edition um, because I decided at least for comparisons um, I wanted to have some of these on hand um, so that if people ask me questions you know I can speak intelligently um, and these were extremely reasonable on sale so um, I would like to have the 100. It's not reasonable to buy the 100 right now, maybe someday. Um, and the 50 is a lot more expensive than these. So this is what I got. It's plenty of colors for what I need them for. I haven't swatched them out yet because I haven't had time. But those will be a part of my colored pencil collection and the box is terrible. I have a pencil wrap I can put them in or something. <laughs> So, we'll just trying to not make 36 pencil pickup. Um, I decided to get the um, Stadler Design Journey colored pencils. Uh, they come in, they come in a tin or a box. Um, so I got the box. The box is a little beat up, but the pencils look very nice. I really like them. I haven't swatched them out yet. Um, that's forthcoming. You'll see them when I do my colored pencil collection, um, hopefully in depth. Um, but uh, I plan on swatching those out sometime soon. If you haven't seen them, they are they they do not have an open end. Um, they are made in Germany. They're really nice. They're smooth. Um, I don't think I have anything here that I can a piece of paper. I mean, to me, they remind me earlier when I was putting them down on paper, they reminded me of something because, of course, I open up a box of pencils and I try them out. I can't think of what it's called, what what they reminded me of. But anyway, nice pencils. I like them. Um, so I added those to my collection. Um, so I sort of added these to my collection. Some time ago, I had bought the 36 set and I had been waiting because I really liked them. I wasn't sure if I was going to like them or not. I had been waiting to, for these to come down and they did. Um, so I went ahead and bought the 72 because I've been using them a lot and I'm pretty much using them. They are the pencils I'm using in my um, Space Buddies project book, the Camellia Angel Cova um, 50 space miniatures, space themed miniatures. So this is what I, they look like. So what I've already done, uh, you get like three trays of them. They're beautiful pencils. So um, what I've done is I've taken... I've added the pencils to my 36 set. So I have a 72 set. Um, if you're curious, this is the swatch chart for the 36. Love these pencils. I love using them. They're great. And so this is the 72. Excuse me. Um, so I have added them to... Um, the case already. What I have is I have a case and I thought about this. Um, I have two sets of pencils that I really like. Oh, this is a 120 case 
and um, I have my my pastel tents in here. Love these, the the Castle Art pastel tent. Those are awesome. And then I added these. I added the 72, and it fills up the case. So both sets of my favorite uh, pastel pencils are in one case. So I can just pick them up and take them with me. So that's the way I did that. And then these will be my spares for when I run out. I will put them in my cabinet. I'll just leave them there. I like the tin. Um, so there is that. And then, uh, last but not least, for the pencils, I got the, oops, they're upside down, Windsor & Newton uh, Studio design studio series studio design series i can't remember oh it says here studio color pencils there are 48 these are the colors i did a video swatching them out playing with them on different types of paper um if you want to check that out that is on my channel i really like these pencils they have a beautiful set beautiful range of colors it's a really nice set um, and I'm glad I picked those up. I was it was it was hard for me to get only seven, you know, 48 because 48 is as big as they come. But um, I think I think there's some nice colors. I mean, you could you could do a lot with these colors. I think so. Uh, it would be nice if there was a really light purple, but some of these colors in here are really really cool colors for such a small set so anyway that is those let me get all my pencils lay them down here because they're in the way um i also got a couple of pencil cases um you can hardly see this one <laughs> uh i got a 72 case it's funny because i got it for one particular purpose then i decided not to do that now it's going to house my uh, Stadler, Stadler 72. These, these, this was on sale for really cheap for um, the big deal days. I couldn't, I needed a 72 case and uh, I couldn't pass it up. It was a really, really good deal. So then I bought another case and there's a story behind that. Where's the other, here it is. So, this is a new Shulainer case. I love how this feels. It's it's not like the other ones that are textured. It's smooth, smooth leathery, fake leathery. <laughs> um, this was also on sale. It's a 180, 184 pencil case um, because I had my Color 180 pencils in here <clears throat> and I hated it. I don't really like these cases, uh, especially not for pencils. Um, they have their uses. I will keep it for things that I might actually use it for, but I got the pencils and I didn't want to buy a case and so I stuck them in here and I just couldn't, I couldn't handle it because um, I hate putting pencils in those cases. I wish I was one of those people that loved them. I, so many people love them and I'm like, I wish I did. <laughs> I like the way they look. So I already took them out. I stuck them in here. So these are my color uh, black barreled 180 pencils. And they fit beautifully in here. <clears throat> and I can be happy with the case. Is that all my supplies? Oh, that is all the supplies. So let's do some books, shall we? Um, see, that wasn't much. That was like all I got. Um, I got Cute Halloween from Coloring Book Cafe. This is adorable. I love this book. Like I need another Halloween book. <laughs> I got Paranormal Captivity. Um, Michelle from Kits and Caboodles messaged me and said, this book came out and I'm like oh my gosh yeah that is adorable so I had to get that one and then this was at a cheaper price it was on sale and I, I had it on my list 
Um, there were a few of their books that were cheaper during the big deal days, and this was one of them. Oops. So I, I picked it up. And uh, I really like the pictures in here. So then, uh, let's see, do I have them in order? I don't know. Um, I got a couple of Satch and Satch Diva books this month. Cute Horror um, is his newest release. It's color by number. It also comes in non-color by number. There's a flip through. And it is adorable. This, I told him, I'm like, this may be your cutest <laughs> cutest book yet you really outdid yourself on that one and adorable dogs color by number is also very cute it has the names of the dogs and i just love it the, this book is adorable <laughs> uh then i had a um a, i did a lyrica order of just a couple of books um i i really wanted one particular book um, but there were a couple that I wanted for this time of year, and I'm trying not to spend tons of money on Lyrica, so I'm only getting a few things at a time. Um, so I got, um, To Each His Own Cat, <laughs> is what this one is called, and, um, it's a very small book, if you can't tell, and it's all cat pictures. I saw this on Pixie's Projects. She had it in a haul. September Hall, I believe. And there's actually a larger version of this book uh, that she showed and she colored in and she didn't know the little one existed. Um, but this is so adorable and I'm so glad that she showed it. Then we got the newest Diane Dufour, which is Teddy Therapy. And it is all teddy bears. Diane Dufour just does the cutest coloring books ever. So. I love it. And they're really not very expensive. Um, and then I also saw this on Pixie's Project. I saw it on somebody else's channel before that. And then, then um, I saw this. And I didn't like it the first time. But then I watched the flip through again. And I'm like, you know what? I really kind of like that. Kawhi Dark, um, it is, <laughs> it is silly and fun, and I thought, you know, I could do that. I could color these, single-sided. It's kind of awesome. So I picked those up. Um, then, uh, Adriana Lay, Coloring United, sent me their new Meow Land coloring book to do a flip of, and this is gorgeous. <laughs> so cute so adorable um i really love what they've been doing like i said there's a flip through of my channel or on my channel um this is a note to myself because it was so new sometimes books are so new when they come in um they're not in the um the isbn isn't in the database yet so, this was a new book from Lainey Dow, my adorable bakery shop, and it is very cute. It's a story about her and her bakery shop and the little cats. <laughs> oh, it's so adorable. So, there's that one. This is another one by Lainey Dow. It is a compilation um, of pictures from her other books. So, I really like it. There's a flip through on my channel that dispels the mystery. Uh, then I had to pick up Enchanted Gnomes. This is becoming a favorite of a lot of people. Coco Wayo and the gnomes. And this is really, really adorable. Love this book. So there is that one. And then... Um... Oh, I was at Barnes and Noble and I picked up the Beauties of Nature coloring book. My husband thought it was cool and um, I'm like, well, you know, I never, I've never tried to do this. <laughs> so it might be interesting. So I thought I would pick it up and give it a try at some point. Coloring 
like the pictures so that was cool and then um i got the ann stokes that everyone's been picking up uh with lots of dragons and funness um it's a really neat um book gotta be coloring me some dragons sometime soon and then last but not least um i uh i bought some stuff on ebay actually i bought four books on ebay um this one is i've actually i remember seeing this on somebody's channel long ago and it's called birds on bikes dozens of curious creatures to color um it's a smaller book i mean if i get out enchanted gnomes you can kind of see how how small it is so um and it's top bound and it's got a very um card one of those card thick cardboard backs on it and it is not all birds on bikes <laughs> It has been a long time. The paper is kind of thin, it's for sure. Um, and I don't know if I'm going to do a flip through of it. I have to see about the availability of it. I can't remember if it's readily available, but it's called Birds on Bikes, but there's not a lot of birds and bikes. And I mean, there's some. There's not a lot of bikes, actually. But uh, it was cool. I needed, like... I, um, what was it? It was like 15% off if you got four books or something from it. Came, they, I think it was one of the thrift that was the seller that was selling these. And this was really cheap anyway. And so I added it because I knew I had seen it and I liked it. Um, I also picked up Choose Joy because I have been enjoying this series of books. I do not like them all, um, but I like this one. So I picked up Choose Joy, and then I got Whatever is Lovely, <laughs> because I saw a picture that Carrie K did, and it was the elephant. This one. I think it was this picture. But it was so cool. Now, I'll never be able to do it like Carrie K, trust me. Um, but... It made me take a look at this book, and I don't think I've ever really looked at it before, and I really like the pictures in it, so I got that. And then last but not least, um, I got Emily Shen's Wonderland, and it's all because of Colored by Maya. So, there are quite a few of these out there. They're not all that expensive. It's a Korean coloring book. And the funny thing is, is, um, I think it's based on Alice in Wonderland. Yes. I don't even, we'll just say I don't like Alice in Wonderland. That is not, um, not a secret that I'm keeping, but, uh, it is a really cool book because it's kind of a different take on Alice in Wonderland and I really liked it. It's got kind of a dirty cover, but, um, I didn't pay a whole lot for these books, um, and the shipping was free and it was, it's, I've been searching more on, um, eBay for when I'm looking for particular books. So I also got, um, the Edgar Allan Poe adult coloring book by Odessa Begay. Um, I have the Dracula book and I'd been thinking about this for a while. Um, I actually got this from Thrift Books and it is pristine. It is gorgeous. Um, it had... It's one that I've been thinking about for a while. I love a ground poem, and I thought, why not? So I got that one. Um, in the buy one, get one 50% off sale, I got, for the Amazon had a week or two ago. I, I think it was like a week ago. Um, I got Maria Trolla's Universe, because it had been on my list for a while. Um, it has really pretty picture because it has some pictures from a book called Vivi is looking for a friend um which is a book I've never seen before Let's see if I can find one they're adorable pictures but I would love to get my hands on that book here it is Vivi is looking for a friend 
And I would love to have this book, but I don't think that you can get it. If somebody knows where it is, let me know, because I've never heard of it before. <laughs> but anyway, so it was worth having those pictures. It was worth the duplicates, because I don't normally buy the collection books, because I don't want to color two of the same picture. I'm weird that way. I know. You don't have to tell me. I'm weird. I know it. I got uh, Color Me Christmas. It just came out, because of course all the Christmas books are coming out. This is cute. Very cute book. So I'm going to have to start a Color Me series. <laughs> Jim Racine came out with Birds and Fleurs, so I picked this one up. I was originally going to use this in my colored pencil series, and then I um, decided to do something different because I really wanted one book that would do all of my sets, but instead um, I have volume one of Magical Tiny Houses, and I started, um, it only has, it has 25 images, and I have 41 sets of pencils, I think, um, and I wanted something Amazon printed, and so, um, this will be the continuation, because between the two, I have 50 images, so I'm going to use this and the volume one for my, but for my um, colored pencil collection, but I love Alexander Denniman's work. So I was gonna get it eventually anyway. Um, then of course I picked up Annie Day and there's a reason I have two of them because I ordered the premium version, which is this one, and it got lost in shipping and I didn't think it was ever gonna get here and I needed it because I thought I was gonna use it for my T-series. However, I have since changed to a different book. Um, so I ordered, when when the premium one, which this is the premium one, kind of see the paper, it is slick-ish paper, um, it's got the weird printing texture on it, it's actually smooth. Um, so I ordered the standard version because you know what, I like the paper. I mean, I color on this in the Morgan O'Brien books all the time. It doesn't bother me. I have a good time with it. So I thought, why not? And then I'll just get my refund. And then, of course, they both showed up. So now I have to decide which one I want. Uh, Candace from Happy Catastrophe has a video out that I can link in the description um, that talks about how she talks. she talks about her thoughts on the premium paper. Um, I do like the colors. There's things I like about them both, um, and I just can't decide. I don't want to keep them both. I want to return one of them, but I just, I don't know which one, to be honest. Um, it's a tough decision. So I've got two Any Day books. Then I got, um, uh, Adriana Lay sent me Cheerful Christmas Coloring Book for a flip through on my channel and it is the large print and it is adorable. I love these. So that's cool. There's a flip through. And last but not least, I picked up Beauty of Horror. This is the other part of my buy one, get one 50% off. Cause I like to get books that are relatively the same price to make it worth it. Um, I don't have any Alan Robert books, so and this is a nice small size. Um, I like the humor. I like the art. Um, so I have seen some beautiful... If you watch Color with Claire and you watch her flip through of it, she'll sell you on it every time. <laughs> so I picked up the Beauty of Horror Tarot. Um, it's a beautiful book. So now I have an Alan Robert book. And that is everything that is in my haul for October 2023. Uh, thank you so much for watching. I hope you all have a great day. And I am sure that I will see you in another video soon. Bye, y'all.